Welcome to Story Time. I am Reading Buddy. We bring you a story every week. In the previous episode, Dorothy and the Toto ran into three munchkins and a witch. Dorothy thought all witches were wicked, and was very frightened. What will happen next? Let's find out by reading the rest of Chapter Two today. Oh, don't forget to stay until the very end and learn a Chinese phrase with Reading Buddy. Ready? Let's get started. But I thought all witches were wicked," said the girl. Who was half frightened at facing a real witch? Oh no, that is a great mistake. There were only four witches in all the land of Oz, and two of them, those who live in the north and the south, are good witches. I know this is true, for I am one of them myself, and cannot be mistaken. Those who dwelt in the east and the west were indeed wicked witches. But now that you have killed one of them, there is but one wicked witch in all the land of Oz—the one who lives in the west. But said Dorothy after a moment's thought, Aunt Anne has told me that the witches were all dead years and years ago. Who is Aunt Anne? Inquired the little old woman. She is my aunt who lives in Kansas, where I came from. The witch of the north seemed to think for a time,、mm. with her head bowed and her eyes upon the ground. Then she looked up and said, "I do not know where Kansas is, for I have never heard that country mentioned before. But tell me." Is it a civilized country? Oh yes," replied Dorothy. Then that accounts for it. In the civilized countries, I believe there are no witches left, nor wizards, nor sorceresses, nor magicians. But you see, the land of Oz has never been civilized, for. We are cut off from all the rest of the world. Therefore, we still have witches and wizards amongst us. Who are the wizards? Asked Dorothy. Oz himself is the great wizard. Answered the witch, sinking her voice to a whisper. He is more powerful than all the rest of us together. He lives in the city of emeralds. Dorothy was going to ask another question, but just then the Munchkins, who had been standing silently by, gave a loud shout、hey! and pointed to the corner of the house where the wicked witch had been lying. What is it? Asked the little old woman, and looked and began to laugh. <laughs> the feet of the dead witch had disappeared entirely, and nothing was left but the silver shoes. She was so old," explained the witch of the north, "that she dried up quickly in the sun. That is the end of her. But the silver shoes are yours." And you shall have them to wear. She reached down、hey! and picked up the shoes, and after shaking the dust out of them, handed them to Dorothy. The witch of the east was proud of those silver shoes," said one of the Munchkins. "And there is some charm connected with them, but what it is, we never knew." Dorothy carried the shoes into the house and placed them on the table. 
Then she came out again to the munchkins and said, I am anxious to get back to my aunt and uncle, for I'm sure they will worry about me. Can you help me find my way? The munchkins and the witch first looked at one another, and then at Dorothy, and then shook their heads. Uh-uh. -uh. At the east, not far from here, said one, there is a great desert and none could live to cross it. It's the same at the south, said another. For I've been there. And sing it. The south is the country of the quadlings. I am told, said the third man, that it is the same at the west. And that country where the Winkies live is ruled by the Wicked Witch of the West, who would make you her slave if you passed her way. The North is my home, said the old lady. And at its edge is the same great desert that surrounds this land of Oz. I'm afraid, my dear. You will have to live with us. Dorothy began to sob at this, for she felt lonely among all these strange people. Her tears seemed to grieve the kind-hearted munchkins, for they immediately took out their handkerchiefs and began to weep also. <laughs> As for the little old woman, she took off her cap and balanced the point on the end of her nose, while she counted one, two, three, in a solemn voice. At once, the cap changed to a slate, on which was written in big white chalk marks. That Dorothy, that Dorothy, Dorothy go, go to, to the, the city, city of, of Emerald. Emerald. The little old woman took the slate from her nose, and, having read the words on it, asked, "Is your name Dorothy, my dear?" "Yes," answered the child, looking up and drying her tears. "Then you must go to the city of Emeralds." Perhaps Oz will help you. Where is the city? Asked Dorothy. It is exactly in the center of the country, and is ruled by Oz, the great wizard. I told you of. Is he a good man? Inquired the girl anxiously. He is a good wizard. Whether he is a man or not. I cannot tell, for I have never seen him. How can I get there? Asked Dorothy. You must walk. It is a long journey through a country that is sometimes pleasant and sometimes dark and terrible. However, I will use all the magic arts I know of to keep you from harm. Won't you go with me? Pleaded the girl, who had begun to look upon the little old woman as her only friend. Now I cannot do that, she replied. But I will give you my kiss, and no one will dare injure a person who has been kissed by the witch of the north. She came close to Dorothy. And kissed her gently on the forehead, where her lips touched the girl. They left a round, shining mark. As Dorothy found out soon after, the road to the city of emeralds is paved with yellow brick," said the witch. "So you cannot miss it. When you get to Oz, do not be afraid of him." But tell your story, and ask him to help you. Goodbye, my dear. The three munchkins bowed low to her and said, 
wish you a pleasant, pleasant journey. journey. After which, they walked away through the trees. The witch gave Dorothy a friendly little nod, whirled around on her left heel three times, and straightway disappeared, much to the surprise of little Toto, who barked after her loudly enough when she had gone, because. He had been afraid even to growl while she stood by, but Dorothy, knowing her to be a witch, had expected her to disappear in just that way, and was not surprised in the least. We have just finished Chapter Two of the Wonderful Wizard of Oz. In the story, the Munchkins wished Dorothy a pleasant journey. In today's Chinese time, Reading Buddy is going to teach you how to say "Have a good trip" in Chinese. 旅途愉快，旅途愉快 We will be back with Chapter Three. Thanks for listening. We will see you next time.